Where is your seed of faith planted? We know that Scripture speaks to us about needing only a small amount of faith to accomplish much, but it also tells us where not to plant our seed so it doesn't produce bad fruit, like along the path where the birds will eat it, or in rocky places where there's little soil where it can't take hold, or among the thorns where it will get choked off. What is your faith planted in? Is it planted in more than Jesus? Do you have faith in reading your horoscope, or playing the lotto, or even just believing in things like faith? What happens when you plant your good seed of faith into anything else but Jesus? The kingdom of heaven is like a man which sowed good seed in the field, but while asleep his enemy came and sowed weeds in with the wheat. Whatever you plant your faith into will produce fruit. The question is, will it be good fruit, or will your crop be spoiled by weeds that come from the faith you have in idols? 1 Corinthians 10 says that sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons, not to God, and I do not want you to be participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons, too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. But if you plant your faith into Christ Jesus, it's like a mustard seed, which is the smallest seed you plant into the ground. Yet when planted, it grows to become the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that birds can perch in its shade. Will the fruit of your seed of faith result in weeds or provide shade to minister to others?